What's happening, y'all? It's your man Sam and here at Viral Hip Hop News. Listen, do me a favor. You see the brother right now on your screen. Go down to my description box and follow Chakra Doctor at Chakra Doctor TV on YouTube. Your only place to find miracles you won't put down. Grab the House of Lazenberry series by author Daniel Webb since it's controversial interview at the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. The books can't stay on the shelf. Grab the series, The House of Lazenberry, The House of Lazenberry 1970H, and The House of Lazenberry, A Time to Hill. Link. In the description box. Making some moves. Word, I want to transition into some internet politics or the circus that is. Um, did you get to see Wack 100 and Hassan Campbell going back and forth? Whether it be on Clubhouse, YouTube, whatever the case may be. I didn't you get know? to see it, but yes, I've heard a lot about it. What's your thoughts on it? Ah, oh, man. Like, I don't know. They're there, there. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's all this internet wars and and yeah. motherfuckers about to really fight, and I don't know, like like I don't take this shit that seriously. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to, you know what I mean? Get in beef with none of my peers to that to that level. Like it's not that fucking serious. Um, you know, I know the shit that Wack was saying about um. What's his name? Nipsey is pretty shocking or whatever, you know? And um yeah, I don't know. I ain't see these tapes, so I don't know. What do you think about the people sp- and not just even whack? Just this it, it seemed like a culture in general now where we just get real loose with the tongue with the dead. And it, it, it wasn't always like that. Like you was a certain respect level when somebody died, whether you liked them or not, where you kind of kept their name in a certain level of respect that you didn't say it at all. Now, right. fuck this person, this person. Oh, he's gay, he's gay, he this, he this. Fuck him. And it's like, whoa, they ain't even here to defend themselves. Y'all going in now more than ever. Any, right. Anybody that passed away, it just seems like that. Talk about that, speaking on the dead. And w- in your opinion, how, when it became so popular to do? I mean, there's a, there's a lot of morals and codes that, you know, they'll call old school or some shit like that, you know, that have been lost. And, and, and they act like, oh, that's old school to do that. Like, you know what I mean? But it shouldn't be old school to, to, to you know, have respect for the dead and, and, and not talk shit about them, at least publicly. Like, you know what I mean? Like, um, but we've lost a lot. We, 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 you know, they take us, we're out of touch with a lot of shit. See, they created this, this gap between, you know, the younger and the older, you know, they trying to act like I don't listen to those old motherfuckers. They they're old, and goofy and all this other type of shit. So that way we're not able to connect and give the information that needs to be transferred to the next generation. They're trying to take us away from that. So now there's nobody to tell you, yo, bro, you don't do that. You know what I mean? Back in the day, somebody would have pulled your coat. Like, yo, bro, come here. You don't fucking talk shit about a nigga after they dead. That shit ain't cool. Word. You know what I mean? Like, oh, oh, okay. Word, word, word. You know what I mean? Like, who's there to do that now? Because they, even if you try to do it, these motherfuckers, oh, fuck that old school nigga. He ain't, he ain't listen to that nigga. You know what I mean? This is what niggas do now. We talk shit about niggas when they die. Fuck them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's just a poisonous, you know, acidic self-hatred type of culture and mentality that again is only perpetrated and you know proliferated through our culture yeah for sure i see i was watching one of your videos i think it's called rap matic i think if i'm not mistaken you did an interview with Ratmatic, right? Or something like uh-huh, that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I see <laughs> a lot of the, uh, the headlines is the Ebro situation.